in Shanidar Cave this year is that we found the remains of two Neanderthals. We suspected they were there because Ralph Selecki, the original excavator here in the 1950s, found partial skeletons but was unable to lift everything. So it's good to have found them first, but second, we found the head of one of the individuals. And very few Neanderthal heads are known, so it is very good to have a new one and particularly from this most important of Neanderthal sites. What we have here is the skull of a Neanderthal. Um, it's an adult, but we don't know yet whether it's a man or a woman. Uh, the skull has been very crushed by all of the rocks that have been on top of it, but also the weight of the soil. The teeth are quite worn, so it's probably not a young adult. We would probably say it's middle-aged, maybe around um, 40, but that's just a preliminary estimate and we'll have to wait for the um, detailed analysis which we'll do once we've removed the skeleton. We don't know everything yet, we can guess some things and we know a few things. It appears that people were starting to use this cave, probably Neanderthal people but we're not sure, about 120,000 years ago, maybe a bit more, and that they came back again and again and again and again through time. Maybe we will find more. The trouble is if we find them then you then get into a very complicated process of conserving and lifting those remains. They are so fragile, so easy to break, that even a bad breath is too much sometimes, <laughs> and it just crumbles to dust in front of your eyes, which is terribly, terribly annoying and very worrying for science.